My name is Dr. Mika Witzel and I'm a senior lecturer and teaching scholar with the School of Business, IT and Tourism at Southern Cross University. Being a teaching scholar means that my research is predominantly focused on improving the quality of teaching and learning at Southern Cross University. A bit of the background to this is um, we got some funding from uh, the government to run a pilot project um, which involved lower socioeconomic and first in family students at Southern Cross University. In other words, students from disadvantaged backgrounds. 45% of our students at the school are from these backgrounds. Now the attrition rate, or in other words the dropout rate of these students, is very high. We're talking about 25%, so roughly one in four are not likely to finish due to all sorts of reasons. My background is also in, I'm a member of the International Positive Psychology Association, so I'm sort of grounded in social psychology as well. Our team together, we researched and put together a whole of body uh, project which involved eight one and a half hour, hour sessions with the students, geared to improve their emotional, mental, physical and social connectivity, their overall whole of body well-being. So we put together these various days. We had an orienteering exercise, communication for improved self-esteem, so getting rid of that negative internal self-talk, I can't do this, I'm hopeless at that, I'm no good, I'll never, I can't. Turning those into more positive internal language. We gave them a personal training session at the gym, at the gym. Um, gave them problem solving, conflict resolution strategies, mindfulness and meditation coaching, they're all on little rugs on the floor, zenning out, it was really good. Um, a personalised support from a nutritionist for, for throughout the week, so they kept a food diary, and the nutritionist then gave them feedback on how they could really positively influence their diet. Um, resilience building strategies, and all of these were interspersed with a number of positive psychology exercises that work, that are proven to work, and are drawn from the work very strongly of Seligman, who wrote a book called Flourish. Now, we tested them before on a number of instruments before they started, and we tested them again after they, after they finished. At the beginning, we found that, um, according to Seligman's measurement, they were quite low on a number of the positive things, positive emotion, engagement, relationships, meaning, accomplishment, health and happiness, and quite high on negative effect and loneliness. And again, on this um, Warwick Edinburgh mental wellbeing scale, uh, optimism, usefulness, relaxation, dealing with problems, thinking clearly, feeling close, being able to make up their mind were all quite low. At the end, they were all higher in the positive and much lower in the negative. So as you can see, this dropped quite significantly and these all rose quite a lot. We used some other measurements as well. Um, we also had them fill in diaries and have comments. You know, one of the nice ones was I've learned one can shine a bright light on the concept of happiness. These are the other measurements we, we used as well. Um, and if you compare this to a national scale, before we started, they were at the bottom 20%. So these are our students. Their whole of body, emotional, physical, mental well-being, bottom 20%. These are our students that we work with. It's a wonder that they, we can get them to come to class, you know. 20 cent at the bottom, and at the end of the program, they're in the top 21 to 40%. So in other words, better than average. We did this a year ago. I have followed up with them since, and a year on, they're still flourishing, and in fact, more than flourishing. Some of them have done exceedingly well. We've got one who's gone to Canada. She's on exchange in Canada. We've got another one who's won a scholarship to go and study in Singapore for a while. We've got another one who is the face of the Ballina um, Wine and Food Festival. We've got other ones who've broken through their loneliness, joined clubs, other ones who've formed relationships with other people. It was a good program. Thank you. Wow. <laughs>